Aviation. What's up, guys? We're the Portland Thorns. And we're at Aviation Gin Distillery. And we're getting a tour. Let's go. Come on, Ryan. Let's go. So have y'all been here yet? No. no. No? Every weekend. Wow. There you go. Liar. There you go. So welcome to the Aviation Gin Warehouse, where we house Aviation Gin. Super surprised, I know. But before we even talk about aviation, we like to talk about the birth of the spirit itself and just kind of what sparked the idea behind the spirit. So we like to talk about this guy first, Hugo Insulin. The reason why Hugo Insulin is important to us as a spirit brand and a culture is he introduced the world to this aviation cocktail right here. Back in the early 2000s, a local Portland bartender and bar owner essentially had the spark of an idea that maybe I could make my own gin because the idea behind aviation was never to be the best gin on the market. It was to be the most flavorful, the most well-rounded, a very palatable gin. Just a gin for, well, everybody. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the next station, which is Botanicals. So this is the most fun part of the entire tour because it's not something you see at most distilleries. So just like how in cooking, you've got your holy trinity, right? You've got your onion, your bell pepper, and your celery. This is the holy genity, if you will. What does it taste like? Oh. It's like black, black, black pepper. <laughs> oh. Just a little bit, just Are a little bit. Are we eating this too? Are we eating No, we're not gonna these? eat these. Oh, okay. We're gonna smell these, don't worry. I was gonna say, that that's a little crazy. And then oh, last but not least, the lavender. Yes. <laughs> I, it is, no, I that. can't put it in my I hands. I love saying that. It is so awful. I went to an uh, anthropology as a young child, and they had a, a lavender thing to like mm. for art, and I thought that it was to be played with, and oh. then I got it all over me, and it was so strong that I literally got sick from smelling it. Nice. When I was eight. Hannah, I think you'd like this. I did. Okay. I said I wasn't going to let my eight-year-old trauma get me down. So the last thing we got to do, just take this, just hit it on the side of the table. Oh, right? How right? Wow, how your week has been. There it is. And now give it a smell. You see how it opened up? Oh, it is more fragrant. That's kind of noise. More. That's <laughs> noise. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, trailblazers. And then I'm just taking notes at this point, because exactly, he's not. Hello, and welcome to my office. Gin is like my drink of choice, and I never, ever, ever knew that there was orange in it. Never would have known. Know. I never would have known. Lavender I knew it was and June orange. Lavender and orange this whole time. The this lavender whole trauma. Time, lavender. I've been overcoming it with every sip of gin that and I orange. ever had. 